Hello and welcome to this Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be replicating this uh, stained glass effect that I've made. Um, so here's an example of what we've done earlier and we're just going to go through the process of how to make this kind of effect. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just get rid of my examples and we'll create a brand new plane. So we go to 3D object plane and we'll just name this stained glass. Now, just because of the way my camera is facing, I need to go 90, 180, and that will give me a facing plane like I need. Uh, if we go into uh, create material and just call this stained glass mat, and we'll also need to create a shader, and that's create shader graph, URP lit shader graph, and that's stained glass shader. And we'll just need to apply that shader to our material. So that's just going to be under shader graphs and we'll apply it. Now we're going to open up the shader and we're just going to make sure we have the right settings. So metallic is fine. It needs to be transparent. It needs to be alpha. It can render both faces. And I guess a window wouldn't need to cast shadows. So that's fine. Now, the first thing we'll do is we'll just get the main texture in. So we'll just do main text and we'll plug this into a sample node. And we'll plug this into the color and we'll also plug its alpha in. Now I'm just gonna show the check, uh, texture in here so we can see the preview. Very simple graphic that I made earlier. It's just alpha on the outside and then the actual window graphic that I want in the middle. So by plugging the alpha in, we're just getting rid of that on the plane. And then the color, obviously we're getting the color values. So if we throw this onto here, and then in the material, we just need to put in the texture. And there we have it, a very basic uh, outline of what we're going to do. We're now going to need to add some kind of transparency to this window. There's a couple of ways we can do this. Uh, this method, we're using the scene color. So if we go back into the shader and we just create a scene color node and we'll need to put in the screen position as our UV. And basically this will make the texture render whatever is behind it relative to the uh, camera position you can think of. And this just needs to be multiplied by the texture that we're using. And then we'll plug it in here and we'll save it once again and go back to the scene. So very quickly we can see, uh, we can now see behind the glass, we can see the skyline and the floor beneath. You'll notice because we multiplied it by the scene view, wherever there was black values, so essentially black is zero, uh, multiplying it by the scene view equals zero still, so the black values remain black, which is good because in a stained glass window, Generally, the black seams are, are opaque and not transparent. Okay, uh, it looks like we're going to need to add a bit of refraction. So normally glass refracts light. So whenever you're doing glass or ice or these sorts of materials, uh, it's good to know the method or the tricks to use to get a bit of light refraction. So what we can do here is just do a normal vector. Uh, it will need to be in the view space and we're probably going to need to turn this down quite a bit so i'm just going to multiply it by 0 0.01 in the x 0 0.01 in the y and i think the z value won't matter here and we just need to add these two vectors together so the screen position and the normal vector plug this into the scene color this is going to give us that tiny bit of refraction that we wanted. So it's probably a little too subtle. So I'll probably just bump it up. But just to show you, let's go to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, save. And there we go. We've got a bunch more refraction. Okay, and then so as you can see the line in the floor is going like this and then it's 
going across and then back down. Uh, this might not be super relevant with a window, it's maybe something you could leave out in this shader, but when you're doing ice, when you're doing glass, uh, you do want to have a bit of refraction. Now another thing we want to do is add a bit of texture to the glass. Um, so what I'll do is add a new texture, we'll just call this distortion text, and I'm just going to pull this in. We're going to sample it and then uh, let's just apply this texture here so we can see it. And this is just a texture I got online. It's just a, uh, I think I googled stained glass normal texture. Um, I'll probably put it in the comments section so you can use this if you need to. And then we're just going to add this to our normal vector. Now it might be a little too strong, so I'll just need to check. Okay, we'll need to also apply it to the material. So we'll just put it in here. Um, it's a bit strong for my liking. So what I might do, okay, so just to turn that down a bit, and I've noticed I didn't set it to normal in the sample texture, but yeah, just to turn that down a little bit, we'll need to multiply and we'll need to go by 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 in the x and y and then we'll just set one and one in the other values and this should just give us a much more toned down version of the effect and as you can probably see here there's just a slight um, distortion uh, kind of similar to a stained glass window you would see um, it just gives it a bit of depth a bit of texture now, another thing I want to do to really make this work is I'm just going to load up Photoshop. And in Photoshop, we're going to create a new file. And uh, 1024 by 1024. And I'm just going to find the image I was looking for. So I just have an outline here of so I just have an outline here of the stained glass window. I've just taken away the color and now we have a black outline. So what I want to do here is rasterize the layer, select both layers and merge them, and then go to filter, 3D effects, and generate a normal map. Now, Photoshop's probably not the best software to do this in, but, um, it's just an easy software that I had available. And here you have blur settings, you have detail settings. So as you can see, you can turn the blur right up. You can turn it quite a bit down. You can add detail or have the detail setting higher or lower as you require. I think here, I, I think I prefer a lower detail. And I'm just gonna take this, um, and I think that's fine here. And I'm just gonna file, export, uh, export as a PNG and then I'm just going to I have a few versions already so I'm just going to call this stained glass normal and I guess number three and then if I pull this through I'll go back to unity and I pull it through stained glass normal number three and we can use this as the normal for the texture so I'm just going to again add another texture to the shader call this normal Pull it through, add it to a sample node, uh, set it as a normal, and we're just going to plug this into the normal output, save the asset, and then if we go back to the scene, all we need to do is make sure we've plugged it in, and it's giving us a bit of an issue here, so let's just go back to the shade and see what's gone wrong, so normal, I just plug that in. Let's set the smoothness down to 0 0.1. Hmm. And yeah, that, that's already much better. It's giving us a much less aggressive effect. May even set it to 0, see what that looks like. Yeah, um, it might be. 
you know, it might be good to have 0 0.05 or something. And we'll just save that, have a quick look at it. And there we have uh, the normals giving it a bit of depth and texture or the illusion of depth on the glass. You can see the outlines here, making it just look like it's raised ever so slightly. And it's given a bit of texture to the window as well. And there we have it. It's a stained glass window. You'll be able to see through it. You'll be able to see objects warp behind it, just like the window we saw at the beginning of this tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, thought it helped out, just feel free to leave a comment and subscribe.